All right, the first start that we're going to talk about coming at the quarterback position, we're going to talk about Geno Smith. Geno Smith taking on the Raiders defense, giving up the third most points per game to opposing quarterbacks. I mean, he's not a surprise anymore. We know that he can play football. Uh, he was a highly touted coming out of college out of West Virginia. This guy has come to play. I think he's grown in the NFL. And now he's actually putting up some numbers with DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. Um, he has very, very good weapons. I mean, he's, he's consistently week in and week out. Now going against a Raider, Raider secondary who I think he can definitely take advantage of. Get Geno Smith in your lineups. The next quarterback we're going to talk about is going to be Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert takes on the Cardinals defense, giving up the six most points to opposing fantasy quarterbacks. Uh, he's just got Keenan Allen back, and he's losing Michael Williams just to a high ankle sprain as well. So his weapons is all over the place. Some come back from injuries. Some stay gone. Some, it, it's, it's a big mess, right? So Justin Herbert, I think he's going to have really have a really good solid game uh, this week against the Cardinals defense. Uh, Keenan Allen had a nice little game back last week. I think he continues to play well for Justin Herbert. I would say get Justin Herbert in your lineups. The next quarterback we're going to talk about is a must start for me is going to be Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow takes on the Titans defense, giving up the seventh most points per game to opposing quarterbacks. This week, he should have Jamar Chase back in the fold, T. Higgins, uh, Tyler Boyd. He's got the weapons around him. We'll see if uh, Joe Mixon will be back in there. If not, we're going to be looking at uh, Samaj P. Ryan behind him, but I think it's going to be a Joe Burrow game. The Titans secondary has struggles stopping anyone going down the field. Uh, they really, really give up to 20 plus yards more than anyone in the NFL. I think that bodes well for both Jamar Chase and T Higgins. Uh, look for these guys to be going very, very active early and often in this game. Uh, this week, definitely put Joe Burrow in your lineups. Let's go ahead and switch our gears over here and go to the running back position. The first running back we're gonna talk to as a must start is gonna be Rashad White. White taking on the Browns defense, giving up the second most points to opposing running backs. And he's kind of taken over the lead back in, in, in week 10. He's taken over from Leonard Fournette. And uh, even Fournette was knocked out in the fourth quarter, but he was getting the bulk of the carries. He got the start, and he was running the ball everywhere, even before Fournette was going out. Yes, Fournette will be back uh, this week after the bye week. But I think Rashad White, this is going to be his, his game here. This is what they drafted him for. They're wanting to take over the offense. I think he's going to be the main running back here. Get Rashad White in your lineups. The next guy we're going to go over here is going to be Latavius Murray. Latavius Murray taking on the Raiders defense. Uh, they ranked fourth most in points per game to opposing uh, running backs. He's got a great matchup. And guess what? With Melvin Gordon being released, it's going to be Latavius Murray show. He should easily see over 20 plus carries this week. He should be efficient. He should get the ball, I mean, three, four yards of carry easy. He should even probably see a touchdown or two. This guy is a, is a workhorse. He's going to be the bell car for this offense. Get Murray in your lineup. The last must start at running back we're going to talk about is going to be James Conner. Conner taking on a Chargers defense, giving up the third most points to, uh, per game to opposing running backs. Uh, James Conner, they, they really need him to have a chance in this game. The Chargers are going to put up points on offense, and they're going to have to match that. Yes, DeAndre Hopkins is looking good, but we don't even know if Kyler Murray is going to play. Is it going to be Kyler Murray? Will Colt McCoy get it yet another start? We don't know what it's going to be. All we do know is James Conner is going to be in that backfield running the ball and going against a defense like the Chargers, who really just gives up those big plays on, on, on the run. I mean, James Conner could be a nice splash play for you this week let's go ahead and move on to the wide receiver position talk about terry mclaurin he's going up against a falcons defense giving up the second most points per game to opposing wide receivers and he's really the main target for for heineke i mean yes you know you have other options in this offense but terry mclaurin is the guy he's shrewd he's, he's going to be catching the ball on the third downs he's somebody that he can definitely depend on uh, to make a catch when needed against this falcons defense who really isn't stopping anybody i mean terry mclaurin is an easy set it and forget it this week put him in your lineups next wide receiver we're going to talk about is going to be alan robinson Allen Robinson going against the Chiefs defense, giving up the fourth most points per game to opposing wide receivers. He is the new number one with Cooper Cup down. I mean, this is the guy, even with Stafford in, Stafford out, we're not sure. Matthew Stafford is in uh, concussion protocol right now. Not sure if he's going to be able to suit up this week against the Chiefs, but I don't think it really matters. Allen Robinson is the guy they're going to be targeting early and often. The Chiefs put up tons of points, and the Rams are going to have to find a way to put up points as well. Their running game isn't very good. Their passing game is all that they have. It's going to be Allen Robinson first down, second down, third down fourth down and even if they had a fifth down they'd be throwing it to Allen robinson get Allen robinson in your lineups now the last wide receiver we're going to talk about this this week is going to be christian kirk 
Kirk go against the Ravens defense, give up the seventh most points per game to opposing wide receivers. Now, he is by far the number one target for Trevor Lawrence, and he's somebody you can definitely get into your lineups to have a consistent floor. He's getting double-digit targets a game. This guy is for real. He came over from the Cardinals uh, this offseason, and he's been true the entire season as the number one guy for Trevor Lawrence. I see no reason to veer from him in there. Get Kirk in your lineups. Now let's go ahead and move over to the tight end position. The first tight end must start that I'm going to talk about is Foster Morrow. This guy is taking over for Darren Waller since he's been out. He's starting as the starting tight end for the Raiders. Going against the Seahawks defense, giving up the second most points to opposing tight ends. He's somebody that I don't think is going to blow the top off. You know, Devontae Adams is there. He's going to be getting the main uh, bulk of those passing yards. But Foster Morrow could fall into the end zone, which could give you uh, some solid points this week. Tight end, in general, is just not very sexy. You're not always going to find somebody who's going to be giving you top-tier points. But somebody who might be able to get some targets, might be able to get some yards for you. Foster Moreau could be your guy. Get him in your lineups. The next tight end we're going to talk about is going to be Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas going against a Falcons defense who's given up the eighth most points per game to opposing tight ends. I mean, he's getting the targets needed to be somebody you need to put in your lineup. Logan Thomas and Terry McLaurin are the two guys for, for Taylor Heineke that, I mean, I think it's going to be looking good for these guys. They're going to be throwing early and often. The Falcons defense really can't stop anybody through the air. Get Logan Thomas in your lineups. The last tight end let's talk about here as a must start would be Harrison Bryant. Now, Harrison Bryant, they're saying, hey, wait, hold on. We got, uh, you got Njoku back here. He, he should be the number one guy, right? Wrong. Harrison Bryant, even seven targets last week, getting over double the amount of targets that Njoku is getting, going against the Bucks defense, giving up the seventh most points per game to opposing tight ends. Harrison Bryant could be a sneaky play, and he's probably in your free agency right now. Go pick him up, put him in your lineup. If you're in need of a tight end, you can thank me later. Get Bryant in your lineups. Now on to the Bengal Tigers, starts of the week. The first Bengal Tiger start of the week, we're going to start at the quarterback position. We're going to talk about Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson going against the Jaguars defense, giving up the 10th most points per game to opposing quarterbacks. This guy has a safe floor, as we all know. The guy can use his legs. He should be able to go all over into this Jaguars defense. They're going to be able to put up some points on the opposite side. The Ravens are going to have to put up some, some points with them. I mean, they don't really have any really good wide receiver options. We don't know who it's going to be. Devin Duvernay, we thought it was going to be. No, uh-uh, not today, sir. So Lamar Jackson really has to take matters in his own hands. He's going to be throwing it. He's going to be running it. Look for him to be all over the field, putting up monster. Monster, monster fantasy points this week against the Jaguars. Now, a Bengal Tiger start of the week for the running back position. Let's go ahead and talk about Kenneth Walker. Now, Kenneth Walker is going against the Raiders defense, giving up the fourth most points per game to opposing running backs. And since he's been taken over as the lead back for Rashad Penny, he's been a hoss. This guy has been a fantasy superstar, somebody who's taken 20 plus carries a game. He's putting up tons of points for you. And I think this week against the Raiders, he's going to put up another stat line for him. Get Kenneth Walker in your lineups. The next Bengal Tiger start of the week at the wide receiver position, let's talk about Michael Pittman Jr. He's going against the Steelers defense, giving up the most points per game to opposing wide receivers. And this is going to be a crazy little game of, of people just trying to get some points. The Steelers, they give up the ball quite a bit. They do have a bunch of young studs in here, Najee Harris and, and Kenny Pickens. Uh, everybody's going to be really, really good in this, in this matchup. Michael Pittman is going to be the sole guy on the Colts offense who's going to be putting up some points other than, than Taylor. So look for Pittman to be in here. I think he has a monster game against the Steelers defense who just can't stop anybody, let alone this beast of a receiver, Michael Pittman. Get him in your lineups. Now, the last Bengal Tiger start of the week is going to be a tight end position. It's going to be Gerald Everett. He's going against a, tar a Cardinals defense, giving up the most points per game to opposing tight ends. We all know by now through the season, you start your tight ends against the Cardinals. They don't know how to stop tight ends. Gerald Everett, no different. I think uh, Justin Herbert's going to find Everett early and often, especially with Mike Williams most likely missing the game with a high ankle sprain. Uh, Keenan Allen's definitely in the mix. Yes, he's going to be the number one target, but the number two target, I'm talking about Gerald Everett. He's going to have plenty of targets, and I, I'm going to say it right now. He's going to end up with a touchdown this week. Get Gerald Everett in your lineups.